Jack, is that you? Hello, once again everyone, and welcome to Fear the Moon. I have a phone. Oh, I actually do have a phone. Oh, looks like, ooh, Melissa, ooh, I guess I should call her back. That, that's not a ringtone. <laughs> hey Jane, it's been a while. Yeah, it has. I hope you're doing alright, or you've been alright, rather. Yeah, I've been great, actually, just busy. How about you? Doing alright. <laughs> not dead. Great. That's good to hear, I was... <laughs> I was beginning to wonder. Can't get rid of me that easily. Hey, I'm gonna be back in town soon. We should hang out. Really? Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, Jack actually had an idea where we would go on a little camping trip this weekend. Like old times. Would you be interested? Haha. <laughs> yeah, that could be fun. Great. I... <laughs> The way this dialogue reads, or at least the way I'm reading it, is just dripping with, like... <laughs> I'm so excited. I think James is coming, too. Really? What's the occasion? <laughs> Thanks. Oh, come on. Nope. You'll have to wait. Fine. Fine. Th that was... Okay. <laughs> oh my god. I thought this game would be scary. <laughs> Apparently there's a man with night vision in somewhere Ohio. Oh me, oh my, well, we're here. This is the campsite. She is very startled. Nice, isn't it? I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> I'm not a fan. Not a fan of Ohio. Not exactly what I pictured when you said a nice camping trip. My thoughts exactly... Well, at least we can have a fire. We used to hang out near here forever ago. I guess you guys didn't come along. Well, we should start getting things set up before it gets dark. Six p.m. And we're playing the game now. I, I guess. Yeah, uh, I'm not actually a fan of Ohio because, um, hello, lowercase James, how are you? Hey, I'm glad you ended up coming. Sorry, I interrupt myself, but I don't want to lecture while we have game to play. Well, Melissa wouldn't really take no for an answer. But yeah, me too. It's nice to see you. <laughs> yeah, you too. Do you need help with anything? Looks like we forgot to buy the firewood on the way here. Melissa won't be too happy about that. Yeah. There might still be some firewood left over inside a shack that's near here. Do you think... Look around you. There... <laughs> hey, go steal from that uh, shack over there. There's nowhere else in somewhere Ohio that we can get wood. Oh, it's not too far. Just follow the right path and you'll find it. All right, I'll see what I could do. Cool. It's gonna get dark soon, though. You should take this. Cool. Thanks. Try not to get lost. All right, well, that's a little self-explanatory. Can I... Oh... <laughs> 
Ah, uh, yes, a normal human interaction. I gotta look at my knee to stand up. So yeah, uh, when I was a wee boy, a very small man, I went to Lima, Ohio. Wait, I... I... <laughs> I'm just carrying hot dogs now. Uh, do I really want to talk with everyone? I guess I will. This story time will wait. So what do you think of the place? It's cool, I guess. A bit eerie, though, isn't it? Haha, -ha. yeah. But that's not part of the fun. Are we all just aliens? Do we not know how to talk to one another? <laughs> hey, don't worry. Okay. <laughs> I got this baby with me. Thanks, Jack. That makes me feel a bit better. You know you can always count on me. Wink. He's gonna die. Hey, sorry if this didn't meet your expectations. I guess I probably should have chose the location. Oh no, it's fine. I'm just glad to see everyone again. Yeah, me too. It'll be fun to hang out once we get everything set up. Okay, now... I could I could sprint too, awesome. I'm left is always right, right? Now uh, what the what were you You know what? Whatever, man. Now uh back to the story. I went to Lima, Ohio when I was very Young man, small man, small boy, and we got lost on the way out. Oh, James, you scared me. Oh, sorry, haha. <laughs> what were you saying? The house, you can see it from here. Thanks for pointing it out. Oh yeah, I guess it's pretty... <laughs> anyway, it's getting dark soon. Be sure not to get lost. Leave me alone. Can I get the tools? Awesome. Now, be And he's gone. Oh no, he's walking away. Okay. Now, I got lost leaving uh, Lima, Ohio. Which already sounds bad. I, I'm getting sidetracked. Getting lost out of Lima, Ohio sounds bad, right? I ended up in a town called Dale. D-A-L-E. The name Dale. Like a man's name. Said so they stalk the woods at night. And once you hear the scratches... Oh man, do you think there's something haunting going on in these woods? And someone cracking their knuckles next to me. So, we ended up in Dale. And mind you, I was like six at the time. We pulled over, and we were like, where the hell are we? And the Dalenites, let's call them. Oh, hey, title drop. Oh, he's watching me. The Dalenites were like... Hey, yeah, you could, like, get out through this way, cool, whatever. And my mother, in her infinite wisdom, joked that, Hey, you know, we might be moving in because we don't know where we are. And the Dalenites took that seriously, and they were very happy. And even at the age of six, I was worried that I would be in Dale, Ohio. Either way... Accidentally locked the shed on my way out. Whoops. Yeah, I, I just write down whoops wherever I go. I think the key should be somewhere in the... I already got the key. The place reeks with an A. That's how bad it is. Um. Hmm. Got a bottle of water at least. Let me just put that in my pant pocket. 
gotten pretty dark. I should head back. But who's watching? Me. I should probably hang on to my sprint. I feel like I might need it. That sounds bad. You know what? I'm gonna give it a little bit of gas. Not my problem. I thought this game would be a little different. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it honest between you and me. Oh hey, keep out on that sign. Do you think I'm actually gonna keep out? The game you know, I didn't do any research into it because I usually want to keep things blind to myself. The game looked a little different in my third eye without me doing my research. Hey, James. Did, did you see something out there? Do I... Just... Oh, right there. Cool. Hey, are you okay? You look like you saw a ghost. I heard something weird in the woods. It was the Dalanites. Oh, what did it sound like? I don't know, like a wolf or something. Huh, that's strange. Wolves haven't been anywhere near this area in like 200 years. Are you sure it wasn't a bobcat? Maybe it was the wolf man. Come on now, Jack. Don't be ridiculous. What? He could be real. You know the stories, too. Yeah, I do, and it's made up. What's the wolf man? Bit of an urban legend around here. Yeah, real urban. I swear I saw him in the woods one time after a party. And how many drinks did you have that night? Oh no. A few. <laughs> what a reliable narrator. I really did see something though. It was big and tall with bright eyes. Is that why you chose this place, Jack? Maybe. I can't believe you. I'm sure it was probably nothing. It just freaked me out a bit is all. Even if a wolf did find its way around here, we're probably fine. Just stay near the camp. Can we get this... I'm going too fast. Dial it back. Can we get this fire started now? It's getting cold out here. Yeah, I'm ready to relax. Fine, fine. I'll get it started. Wow, what a survivalist with the barbecue lighter. And I just stand there like a creepazoid. I I must have deactivated my robot programming. Okay, I was I was just about to say, are you gonna do something? Because this is quite the extended thing. Jane, what are you looking at? Just so that it's a full moon out tonight. So it is. Sure is pretty, huh? Yeah. Well, when you're done admiring it, come get your food. It's getting cold. Alright, thanks, Mom. Uh, fill bowl. Yep. That's lame. Hey, man. Drinking? Cool. I'll grab a bowl. Okay. I'll fill the bowl. I... Okay. Hold E. That... Sure. Now we sit down. And I... Mmm. Gr... <laughs> Okay. 
Yep. And one more for the road, please. Delish. <laughs> Gross slurping noise, huh? Oh, hey, James. How's it going? Is your name James? I, I've completely lost track. Let me just... I... Okay. So nice to meet you guys again. Glad I ended up coming. It's been a while, hasn't it, since we were all together. Yeah, like, almost a year now. I'll, I'll just keep staring at my knees. Okay. You were right. The sky looks nice out here. Yeah, it's perfect. Nice to get away from all the light pollution. So, do you guys want to hear the legend of the... This guy. No. <laughs> we get it. We know why you're out here. Hey, I know... Obsessed, huh? Really? Mmm. Crazy. Okay, sure. What is the wolf man? Oh my god. It's an urban legend about the man that used to own the property. He disappeared a long time ago, and there's stories that he never actually left. And it's said turned into a wolf man that lurks the woods, attacking and eating animals, and even humans. That sounds silly. It actually gets more twisted than that. He had a sort of animal sanctuary out here with lots of dogs he would take in and care of. And he lived completely alone, aside from the animals. So when he disappeared, no one knew... No one knew was gone for a long time. Okay. When someone finally came to check on him, they found something truly terrible inside the house. All the animals had starved to death, locked inside rooms and cages, scratches and blood all over the walls and doors. Oh my god, that's awful. Yeah, and that's not even the worst part. They say some of the animals had even started to eating each other. Some say it was the owner himself that ate them. After he turned into the wolf man. But really, it's just stories to try to keep kids from coming out here and underage drinking. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Plus, with all the parties that used to happen out here, stories were bound to be made up from the things people thought they saw. Or heard. There's even been a few missing persons out here. Yeah, that's really why people don't come out here anymore. Cops really started cracking down on the place after that. So, why are we out here? For old time's sake, plus all the danger makes it more exciting. You wouldn't want to hang out at any old campground, would you? It's okay, the most dangerous thing out here is deer and bobcats. You and bobcats. Bobcats? Mountain lions, panthers, whatever. Oh, and Jack here. Danger- oh my god. I'm not even gonna dignify that. I'm just gonna look at my knees again. <gasps> Spooky violin, it's back. So, um, we, we just been sitting here for an hour. It's been nice catching up, but I think we're gonna head to sleep. Yeah, same, today has me beat. Wait before you guys go. Oh boy. Oh right. Oh, what is it? Well, I guess I'll just say it. We're g- oh, yep. Oh, <laughs> cool. Man, I wonder if anything bad will happen with them. Finally decided to tie the knot. Wow, I'm so happy for you guys. Thank you. And of course, I'm hoping you'll be my best man, bro. <laughs> for sure. And I want you to be there too, Jane, just like we used to talk about as kids. Sure. Wouldn't miss it. Oh. 
You guys go ahead. Jack and Jack and I are gonna hang out a little longer. Will you? Hey James, how's this going? Can I grab anything else? No. You can take the tent. I'll be sleeping in the van. Alright, you crazy kids. Don't get into any trouble. The wrong tent, apparently. Let this one. Yay. Oh, no. Don't tell me... Don't tell me they're gonna, like, bone in the cabin. That sounds bad. Did I just hear a scream? No, it was a bobcat. Came from the old shack. I should make sure everyone is okay. Ooh, nice shadow. Hey, man. No one is in the car. Cool. I wonder where James went. Maybe he's the wolfman. Also, there's a bong there. How classy. Oh, James. Jameson. I shouldn't wander too far. Well, you say that and there's actually an invisible wall. Hmm. Well, that looks bad. What could have made these? Uh, gee, I don't know. What do you think? Is anyone home? I hope everyone in here is decent. Um... Sure. Hey, toots. Jane. What happened here? I don't know. Me and Jack were just out here messing around and something attacked us. It all happened so fast I couldn't really tell what was happening, but I think Jack is... Hurt. Like, really hurt. But this thing, it was big and fast. It just picked him up and took him away like it was nothing. I think we all have to get out of here. I don't know if we can... <laughs> hey, I'm glad you guys are getting married. Anyways, I'm leaving your ass in the grass because I'm not dealing with a wolf, man. Okay, okay, we should get help. Yes, we need to get to the van. But Jack, uh, yep. Yeah. We have to find them. Where would the keys be? There's a hide button. Cool. Hello? Oh, hey, keys. Hey, babe. Hey, I found the fan keys. Let's get out of here. Thank God. Okay. Yeah, uh, Jack. Is that you? Listen, lady, don't do it. Are you a... <laughs> that... Oop. Okay, well, time to hide. I have to get out of here. Uh, okay, I'll get out of here then. Nope. There's never anything bad that happens to the main character of a horror game. As long as I don't look behind me, which I just did. Do do do. Man, she got absolutely rinsed. Let me just go ahead and get in here. Awesome. Start the car. Oh, why can I look behind? Hello. Oop. Okay.
that was, um, okay. Okay, um, I don't want to be too harsh because it is a solo developer. There is quite a bit of work that needs to be done. I never want to write off a game immediately. There was a lot that needs improvement, but I, I think I'll leave it there. Thank you guys for watching. Check out my other stuff and take it easy.